if you're looking on the catalogue and there's a book that you'd like to borrow but it's currently out on loan, you can place a reservation. You can also place a reservation if you're searching from home and you'd like to have the book ready to pick up next time you come into the library. So you go up to search by keyword and you find the item that you're looking for. So I want the latest James Patterson. Have a look here, they're currently both uh, either on loan or waiting for someone to pick them up. So I would then click place reservation. So you will need to enter your uh, barcode and password. If you don't know your password, then uh, you can call into the library and we can help you or you can go online uh, and reset your password yourself. It's very easy to do, but we've got a video there that can help you through the process of resetting your password. So you enter your details here and click login. And then we have here all of the details for placing a reservation. Now there are a couple of good uh, services that we've got available when you're placing a reservation. If you're about to go on holiday or something like that, you can suspend your reservation until a certain date. So if you know that you're not going to be back and available to use the book uh, before, say, the 2nd of November, you can pop in there to suspend the reservation, which means once you get to the top of the list, you stay at the top of the list, uh, but other people below you can get that book uh, until that suspension date comes around, which means that you can go through that list but not miss out if the book becomes available whilst you're away. If you don't want that, you can just delete. Uh, also, if you need something very soon, but you've got an assignment or something that you're using uh, this item for and you won't need it after a certain date, you can say not required after a certain date. So say the thing that I'm working on is due on the 30th of November, I can say after the 1st of December, I don't need this anymore. And then the reservation will automatically disappear if it hasn't been filled before then. Again, if you've filled that in accidentally, you can go through and delete. Uh, all the reservations automatically drop off after 12 months, but you can change this to have no expiry. Uh, almost certainly everything will be uh, dealt with within the 12 months, but you can choose no expiry from here if you wish. You can also change where you're picking up the item from. So in the Goldman uh, catalog, it does default to Goldman Library. We can click change location. And then we've got a list of all of the library locations for Goulburn. So Goulburn as well as all of our mobile locations. So if you visit our mobile library, you can go and pick up your book from one of the mobile library locations. Again, if we click more locations further, then it also gives us access to the Upper Lachlan Shire Library locations. So if you're a Goulburn member, but you're uh, going to be at Crookwall or Gunning and would like to pick your item up from one of those libraries, then you can select that as a pickup location as well. So once you're happy with the details that you've entered here about your reservation, you click continue and you can see that your reservation has been placed. So if you want to check on the progress of your reservations, once you're logged in, you can go to your dashboard and we've got here two reservation information uh, points. One says pending reservations and if we click on that, it's all of the reservations that we have placed, but that aren't yet available for pickup. So they're here waiting, and once they become available, you'll receive a notification uh, in the way that you have nominated, which may be via letter, via email, or via text message. Uh, we suggest that you do email or text message because each item is kept uh, for 10 days once it comes in for you, and potentially your letter might not arrive, letting you know that it's here, uh, before your 10 days is up. So email and text is usually a lot quicker to let you know that something is here and you can come in and pick it up. So these ones are all waiting, not yet ready for being picked up. If we go back to the dashboard, we have available reservations. If we click on available reservations, we can see that we've got three items that have arrived at the library ready to be picked up and we will have received a notification by uh, whichever method we've selected, letting us know that they're here. And it says, please pick up from whichever library you've selected by the 12th of October in this case. So after that date, the item will no longer be available to be picked up. 
Uh, you can cancel your reservation here if you don't want it anymore. Similarly with the pending reservations, if you get access to the book early for some reason uh, or you no longer need the book, you can cancel the reservation from here. You can also edit the reservation. Uh, say you wanted a book but you've been suddenly called away or you might have to go to hospital or something like that. Uh, you can come in here and choose to suspend the item uh, after you've placed the reservation. We can also change where we want to pick it up. So I might have been picking it up at Goulburn, but I've realised, oh, I'm going to be at one of our mobile library locations and I'd like to pick it up from there. So we can make those changes. And then we can see that this item is now going to be picked up from one of the mobile locations, but not until after the 2nd of November. I can go in and clear that if I don't need that anymore. And it's now being picked up from the mobile location any time that it's next available. So when you're looking at your dashboard, uh, the things that are available for pickup will say be in the available reservations list. If you don't have anything available for pickup at the time, that little tag will not appear uh, and you will just see things in your pending reservations list. Uh, things in the pending reservations aren't available for pickup yet, so wait until you receive your notification or they appear in the available reservations list. Okay, so that's how you place reservations. Thanks for listening and we'll talk to you later. Bye.